Hi, uh, this time on Ted Shed we're um, doing the kingpins on the Morris Z van so uh, let's crack on and see how we get on. I've recently uh, reissued and resealed these brakes. I don't really want to take them to pieces again, so what I'm going to do, because I've already done the other side, is drop the um, back plate, complete with the cylinders and everything, off the stub axle, so then we can get the, uh, the swivel out and the kingpin out without affecting it. There we go, it's on the back of my assembly, leave it dangling down there, and there we can go and get the kingpin out. Uh, right, 
Now I've already done the other side as I said, but as this is slightly different in that I've got the uh, the arm off the uh, steering box, the uh, drag link. <coughs> A chunk of aluminium just in case you're wondering so it doesn't damage the thread. Just undo the clevis pin bolt or the tighter pin nut, should I say? I'm fairly confident these all come apart because I had them apart when I first got the van just to give it a once over, make sure there was nothing terribly untoward going on but it was obvious then that the kingpins were worn but I didn't know whether I'd better get away with it but having subsequently driven it for a bit I can't get away with it because uh, it occasionally had wobbly wheel fits which the only way of controlling it was to slow right down And that's the uh, swivel pin assembly off. <clears throat> in the bottom of these, there's a locker core plug in the bottom just for access, which I've just knocked out. Um, so now we'll just drive the bushes out. So while I've got them to this stage, I'm obviously I'm going to put new wheel bearings on as well. Um, I did try and get the wheel bearings off before, but the uh, seal at the back was stopping me getting the uh, puller behind. So I found doing the other one, if you destroy the seal, because I've got some new ones, um, I can just get my puller behind them and pull this off. So we'll do that next.
right. Now, I'll give her a wash in some paraffin, get it all cleaned up, push the new bushes in, and then we'll get set up on the lathe and ream them out. I have a sneaking suspicion that these uh, hub carry assemblies might be the same as off the earlier vans because whereas these have got a, an oil seal which sits in the hub which rides on that step there that's not actually fixed it's just an extra part that's been uh, machined up and put on afterwards the other side was the same so I'm thinking that these were the standard the older version and they've just modified these stub buckles to suit which would make sense Obviously when you put the new bushes in they come with the hole drilled in and that's got to line up with where the grease nipple is in the uh, in the still back so I'm gonna try and do that. Obviously the top one's a little bit proud and the bottom one's quite a bit too far down at the moment so I'm just going to use my brush that I used before to knock them down where they need to be. I'll do that down on the anvil on the floor. Right now they're where they need to be and their bushes in place in line with the grease holes. Jobs are good. Uh, these are the new king pins but as you'll see they don't fit. Um, that's, they didn't fit before I pushed them in, they, they're made to be uh, reamed out afterwards. Now you can get um, reamers uh, specifically designed for doing uh, kingpin bushes and they've got a, a sleeve at the bottom at the far end with a cone on which holds the reamer central uh, while you ream the top bush because obviously they need to be in line with each other uh, but I haven't got one of those. But I did have a 5 8 reamer, which is the size of the uh, kingpin. So I had to think about it. And I can do it on the lathe. Um, for this one, because we've got the extra arm on the back, I'm going to have to take the tool post off. Uh, but then we should be good to go. I think you can see what I'm doing. I've got a revolving centre here pushed into the uh, the top bush hole um, which is just holding it central and in line with the uh, reamer which is in the headstock uh, on a taper. So I've put it in back gear, well I've slowed it right down and now I'm going to run the lathe and slowly feed the uh, by applying pressure on the tailstock it'll slowly feed it onto the reamer and open, them, open it out to suit. Obviously that will try and rotate around but there's a, a soft cover there and I've got to 
timber one somewhere, so I should protect the bit of the light. So that's not going to do any harm there. So, let's see how we get on. Right, it's taking a bit of fiddling backwards and forwards, and but they seems tight. But once they're in, they'll be fine. Once they're full of grease, but there's definitely no free play in them. So I'll uh, knock it apart again. Um, make sure there's no burrs on the flat in the middle, so it doesn't damage them when I put it back through, and then we'll put it back on. And then uh, a bit lighter, or perhaps next time I'll uh, put the bearings back on the uh, back in the hub, fit the new bearings in there, and then the oil seal, and put it back together. Do, do, do.
had these new uh, kingpins and bushes from uh, Ian Harris, Morris Spares. He's very good. Um, doesn't mess about. Sends them on time. And they're all good quality bits and pieces. These are. You can see they've been induction hardened on the outside and ground. I'm really pleased with all your supplies. Make sure the thread's good in the end of that, which is a quarter bit of sif, I believe. Oops. Back in the bottom. Just helps hold the grease in the bottom. Okay, okay. okay. In a bottle, let's go. It vanished.
there. Right. I think that might do for this evening. Um, next time I'll uh, put the back plate on, refit the hub with the new bearings in, and jobs are good.